Good morning, friends, and welcome to a new vlog. Failed moment, and that was living in shame and regret and of Peter. He's one of the disciples. He's the one that obviously wasn't as fast as John, <laughs> as John pointed out. But he was one of the disciples. Good morning, friends. Happy Easter. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't by my surroundings, but I came to church today live, in person. I attended my church service today and it was so powerful and so wonderful. As I've stated to you all, my reasonings for not actually coming back to church live was just that I was enjoying my quiet time with the Lord and it was taking me to different levels. And I knew that it was something that I needed. I knew that there would be a day that God would speak to me and say, okay, it is time to go back. And yesterday I was having a very, a very emotional day. I don't even know really, you know, like it's just weird. It was just one of those days where emotions just came over me so strong. And I just felt some type of way, like all day, like I found myself crying on and off throughout the day just I don't know I just felt like there was something I needed and I didn't know what it was and then a voice spoke to me and said go back to church go in person today there's something special there for you and I have to share this with you all I don't know if I've ever shared this with y'all I think I may have but my dad was a gospel singer and one of the songs that he would sing was because he lives I can face tomorrow they sung that song today and I teared up because I felt my dad sitting right next to me and I felt his hugs and I felt him telling me that life is good and everything's gonna be okay whatever you're going through whatever you're feeling baby girl it's gonna be okay so that was my purpose that was my purpose for going back to church today and I just want to remind everyone that Remember that you can't rush anybody to do anything when it comes to faith and God. You really can't rush or push anybody to do anything, period. But when it comes to your personal walk with Jesus, that is what it is. It is your personal walk with Jesus. You step out by faith. You step out in faith however you're able to do so, when you're able to do so. God's got your back. The service today talked about God will come to where you are. Talked about the resurrection and, and who God presented himself to first. God presented himself to Mary Magdalene first because she was so low and so down and she was in some type of a way. It was just a reminder that God comes to us. He doesn't always expect us to be up there on his level. He will gladly, gladly come to us. We just have to be willing to receive him when he comes. When he knocks at the door, we just have to open the door. Anyway, Terry met me here today. We had a wonderful, wonderful time. We had coffee, ate breakfast after church, and even took an Easter picture. I'll include that picture, but they had the wrong date on it. They had Easter 2022 instead of 2023. Anyway, that was a whole mix up, but that's okay. It's, it's all right. <laughs> We got to take a picture together. So that's what's important. I'll probably like try to crop that date out or something and make it a thing. But yes, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to head home now and uh, I got to get ready to go over to my son's house. I'm not sure what time it is. Let's see. Let's see. What is the time? Oh, it's 11.08. So yeah, I need to get home. I've got to make some food for Terrell's. We're going over to Terrell's house. I said we. I'm going over to Terrell's house today. We as a family are going to get together and eat and have a good time. Oh, I feel so good. I feel like I'm ready to be back. It felt good going to church today. So anyway, before I go though, I do want to wish Debbie a happy birthday. It turned out to this year that her birthday fell on Easter Sunday. So join me below to wish Debbie a happy, happy birthday. 
Today is a special day for her. God has given her life today. God has given her grace. Debbie, happy birthday. May your day be wonderful, beautiful, and peaceful. God bless you, my friends, and I love you. Hi friends, it is Saturday, what is it? It's almost three o'clock. So a large portion of my Saturday is basically gone. I shared some footage of me earlier today. I was out with Terry. We went to a pet festival. It was so much fun. I didn't get a lot of footage because it, you know, I had was helping her with the dogs and whatnot, but it was a pet festival, not a dog festival. So I saw like boa constrictors, I saw baby calves, I saw chickies, I saw ducks, I saw like all kinds of animals out there. And it's really interesting what people choose to have as pets. And so yeah, it was a very, very interesting day. I need to get home and do some cleaning. I'm right now sitting at Target curbside pickup because I need to pick up some water and um, a lime for my water. And then I'm gonna go home. I need to do some cleaning. Uh, James is coming in town on Tuesday. Yeah, and I haven't seen him since January. So I'm, uh, I'm low-key excited, y'all. Like I get to see my husband after like a few months. Very, very exciting. The gentleman's coming in with my water, so I will tap out now. Okay, friends. Sorry for that brief cut off earlier, but the guy was coming to put my groceries in and I just needed to show him my number and all that fun stuff. I'm actually now at Chili's. I'm picking up curbside pickup. I'm so excited, y'all. I have not had this in so long. I just picked up me some ribs. I do this thing when I come to Chili's. I get it on curbside pickup. I take it home, and then I have literally two meals, sometimes three meals, depending on what I'm gonna do as far as eating for the next couple of days. So I'm excited about having my ribs. And then I wanted to show y'all this. I ordered this off of Amazon. I don't know if I showed it to y'all when I got it. I don't think I did. But I carried this today for the first time. It's one of those fanny packs, crossover bags, whatever you want to call them. Truth be known, they are really fanny packs, okay? I know some people get all offended when someone says fanny pack. But I'm like, it's a fanny pack, okay? From back in the day, they just kind of re ante up them. And, you know, they're all the crave right now. I really like this one. This one is supposed to be like the Lululemon dupe. And I will say, it's pretty good. The only thing I think I find that's a little bit weird is when it's on my body, it kind of sticks out. Like it doesn't lay like perfectly up against my body. But I guess that's because of the weight of the items that I have inside of it. But I do like it. I think it was $15 or something like that. I, I can't remember, but not very expensive. And then I know y'all, okay, so let's talk about the hair for like two seconds. This is the, the SE 14 inch kinky cur no yeah kinky curly hair this is not the afro kinky curly which is what i had from walnut i got both in the 14 inch the other day i just returned the 14 inch walnut kinky curly because honestly truth be known y'all it's just too kinky it is it's just going to require way too much work and i was like you know what i saw this one and i was thinking I think this might be the curl of my dreams and it honestly is y'all i absolutely love her i've named her chloe she is my bestie we are all good to go i i mean i washed her last night and i conditioned her yes so if i had to recommend one um unless you really want to have to deal with the hair that hair is just it doesn't look like it does in the picture the 14 was even more matted than the 18 
And I just thought, you know what? I will have to work so hard to make this girl look pretty that she will frustrate me in the long run. So I returned her. I, I don't want to say I don't recommend it because I do think they put a lot of effort into that product. And I think that it is it could potentially be good. It's just the concept is good. But I think that you got to really want to work with some hair for to enjoy it. And honestly, it's the summer. I'm going to be headed to Myrtle Beach. I'm going to be going to the Reggae Fest. Like there are so many things I want to be doing this summer that I don't really want to be worrying about a wig and the fixer and all that. So I want a wig that I can slap on my head, be cute and call it a day. So that being said, I'm loving Chloe. I will put the info in the description bar if you're interested, but she is from Amazon. She's 14 inches. She's been washed and that's pretty much all I've done. I've washed and conditioned her. I have not cut her into any particular style because honestly, I kind of like it just the way it is. Like I may cut a little bit throughout here at some point, but I really think I want to just wear her for a little bit and just see how she progressed, you know, as far as like aging and all that good stuff. But yeah, so anyway, I am going to, I'm going to head home and eat my food because I'm very, very hungry.